Hey church, my name is Abby. Um, I am a part of our Chester campus and lead the youth ministry with my husband Josh in Chester and I get the privilege of spending some time with you today um, in a devotional time. Um, and today I'm going to get straight into it. Um, we're going to be focusing on the verse in Proverbs, which is 18 verses 21. So Proverbs 18 verse 21. And it says, the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit. Um, when I was thinking about this verse recently, which we're going to be focusing on today, I was also reminded of a story, um, a true story, an experiment that a scientist named Masaru Emoto um, conducted, where he had two glasses of water, one which he spoke positive things over and the other negative. And he took um, a molecular uh, photo, so he wanted to see if it had a change on the molecular structure of water when he spoke negatively and positively. Um, and he took before and after photos of both, so they were both the same to begin with. And then um, he spoke negative things over one and positive over the other for a period of time. And then he froze the um, water and then took a, a molecular photo of it again. I don't know the terminology, guys. Bear, bear with me. Scientists, you can say what you think is best. Um, but he took a photo of it and basically found that the um, one he spoke positive things over... Um, had formed beautiful crystals, gorgeous, gorgeous crystals. You can even Google the photos. And then the other kind of created these weird blobs and splodges and um, a weird form, a weird molecular structure. So he found that there was um, a difference when he spoke negatively and positively over the water, um, which I think is just amazing to see the sort of proof and the image of that, that there is an impact even on water. Um, which is amazing and if it has an impact on water how much more can that those positive and negative words have an impact over us um, and that verse in Proverbs, Proverbs says that the tongue has the power of life and death and I think um, this is so powerful for us today and I believe you know God's been challenging me on it recently what am I declaring over my life when I wake up in the morning um, do I declare, oh, I feel rubbish today. Oh, today is going to be one of those days, which I'm sure we've all said. Or am I going to say, you know what? Today is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and I will be glad. And once I start declaring, something changes and something shifts. Um, so I want to challenge you today with three things. And most of all today, I want you to spend some time with God by yourself. It says in the Bible, in Matthew, I think, it says to go away privately with God and pray to the Father. Um, and so today, go away and spend some time with God. And I want you to focus on these three questions um, on this topic. Um, number one is, are you being positive or negative in the words that you are declaring of yourself? Do you often find yourself saying more negative things than positive? Um, more, more than often, think about that today and spend some time with God. Number two is when you make a mistake or get something wrong, how do you respond in your thoughts? It's very true and challenging. Um, number three, how often do you spontaneously encourage yourself or someone else? Which I love, you know, if we can encourage other people and speak positively into other people and speak, speak positively about other people, um, we can see a change, you know, in the people around us and, and, and things like that. So um, I really want you to think about those uh, questions today and think about that verse. Spend some time with God um, praying. I believe that God is going to speak to you today um, and in doing so when you spend time with him. Some other verses that I find really um, good to declare um, as well. I want to share those with you as well, um, which are 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. Um, you can write these down. Um, Psalm 139. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 to 34, one of my favourites. Um, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, and Psalm 118, verse 24. Um, all of these are just starters. They're amazing, amazing um, verses and chapters of truth and goodness, and you can declare those over your life today. Um, and I just want to pray with you um, ahead of you spending time with God and ahead of your day or your next day. Maybe it's the end of the day you today. Um, Lord, I thank you for each and every person that is listening to the sound of my voice right now, Father, and I thank you for their lives. 
God, everything you, they're doing, um, that you're doing in their lives, Jesus. And I just pray right now that you would bless every person, God, that you would speak to them. God, impart wisdom. Jesus, challenge us today. Father, we want to be challenged and we want to be changed for the better. God, we want to declare good and positive things over our lives and see the fruit of that because of who you are, God, and what you have um, said through your word. So today, God, we commit this day to you. We commit our weeks to you. And Lord, would you speak to us today? In your name I pray. Everybody said amen. We love you guys. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you have an amazing, blessed day and um, believing that God is going to speak to you today. See you later.